Shalom, it's Rabbi Rudin. So what is it that actually lights, if lights the menorah? You can say, well, uh, a match, <laughs> a birthday candle, uh, one of those lighters. Let me tell you a little story. 1777, the darkest days of the American Revolution, the American army fighting for our freedom was camped in Valley Forge. There was illness and cold, hunger. The American soldiers encamped in, in small cabins, a dreadful winter of disease. One soldier who had fled Poland trying to escape the pogroms and the persecution of his people on the first night of Hanukkah, lit his little candles. The entire camp is dark, and suddenly a tall figure, noticing the little lights, knocks on the door and walks into the cabin. The young Jewish soldier, maybe the only Jew at Valley Forge, jumps to his feet and salutes General Washington. The general asks what the candles are for. And the young man says, these are the candles that my people lit during their battle for freedom. And it was successful. General Washington, I know that it's dark here in Valley Forge. I know that it's cold. I know that we're all dispirited, but these candles are the candles of freedom and the victory will always go to freedom. General Washington told that story the following year when he went to visit one of the backers of the American Revolution who was showing him the Hanukkah menorah. And General Washington said, I already know about it. So let's think about that, that what really lights the candles of the menorah, not a match, or at least not its origin, maybe the match is what actually does the lighting, but what really inspires the lighting is the search, the dream, the hope for freedom, to be who we are, our faith that the struggle for freedom will always ultimately be successful, and our pride that it is our people that has lit this light, that has carried this dream for freedom for all these centuries. So when you light that flame, let the flame light from your heart, from that little Jewish spark that's in all of us to light up the whole world. Chag Sameach. Happy Hanukkah.